It's me, Mavis Meadows. Okay, so I know I said I would update you in the morning, and it is the morning. So, injury has improved. If it was at a 10 yesterday, it's probably at a 7. Not that, like, it was hurting me at a level 10, but if that was the worst the injury was, and it was a number 10 yesterday, it's probably at a 7. So I'm feeling pretty okay with that. <laughs> it's okay. Do you just want to shut the door so you can go back to bed? Um, yes, probably at a seven, which is good. I'm happy that it's improving. Obviously, I'm not naive. I know it's not going to heal overnight, but a little part of me did want it to. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, I'm going to go on the treadmill now for 30 minutes. Going to do a light walk, not my normal interval walking. Going to do a light walk and see if it feels better after we get some blood flow to it. But I'll uh, update you then too. Okay, so I finished my walk and it felt a lot better than yesterday because like I said in yesterday's video, when I would breathe in, like past there, and that's not even a full deep breath, like past there, excruciating pain. So now I'm able to like breathe into there with minimal pain. And like I can still breathe more, but I'm not choosing not to because it hurts real bad. And so um, I had a few people in the comments ask what specific muscle, and it is an intercostal muscle in my back on my right side that tore strain what well, don't really know but it's one of those muscles um but yeah that felt a lot better than yesterday um was able to get my heart rate up and hopefully it like it does feel a little bit better after walking and some movement so i'm very very grateful i'm still able to move my body in that way um, yeah, uh, yeah, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I'm on my way back to school, so I have a travel day today, uh, that's why I have this super early morning kind of walk, um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys some of my meals that I'm packing, or some, like, just to make this a little more interesting, a little more fun, uh, than just me bitching about my injury. But, uh, for anybody who needs help, reminder to take their creatine or their supplements or any kind of water-soluble supplements, put it in your water. Like, creatine tastes like nothing, so every time you fill up your water or like my first fill up in the morning I'm always putting a scoop of cre creatine into my water normally when I go to the gym because I lift in the mornings this is done by and then I have to fill it up mid lift anyways um, but again I did just my walking this morning so I didn't finish it but a nice little water ASMR for you but yeah, a little tip and trick, put your creatine in your water. I used to also put it in my coffee, but now I don't drink coffee that early in the morning. Um, yeah. Uh, let me show you some meals. Okay, so I've been prepping some meals for now and then for when I'm on the road. So first we've got 100 grams of chicken breast and two cups of broccoli. That's what I'm gonna eat now. And then for the road, this is what we were looking at. Cucumber. Uh, apple. Carrot. And in here we've got 100 grams of chicken and 100 grams of tilapia. The macros are gonna be, are good on all this. The only thing is I'm not gonna have access to a microwave so that chicken and tilapia is gonna be eaten cold I did season it nicely and I've got some hot sauces on there but I'm not looking forward to some cold 
chicken and tilapia, but that's fine. It's just one meal. One, still grateful I get to eat. Still grateful I have food to eat. Again, it's all about recognizing privilege and being gratuitous for the things you do have. And I'm grateful I have access to so much food. But, so yeah, not much else to say, but um, this is my injury update. I will update you again tomorrow. People are, were asking or just saying, oh, we should just stick to training legs for now. The thing is, like, when I go down to pick something up, like, no weight, just go to pick something up on my own, um, it hurts. So, RDLs, not looking too hot. Don't know if I would trust it with the squat right now. So, I'm going to take tomorrow as well. And I'm just going to walk tomorrow, do my walk tomorrow as well. But I'll update you tomorrow when I'm back at school, back in my apartment, and see how we're feeling. Fingers crossed for feeling much, much better. But uh, if you're able to lift today, I hope you are taking that time to yourself to really be grateful that your body allows you to. <sighs> but yeah maintain gratitude for anything and everything i'm still very grateful i got to walk this morning Whew. but yeah my name is mavis freaking meadows i'll see you again tomorrow <laughs>